has been like what five years or so since invasion of privacy. 2018. I think it was a little like six, six years. years. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. six years, and then invasion of privacy is such a great mm -hmm. body of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At any time, Cardi, do you think like man? This album and this run has been so successful. Do you get in your own way? Were you in your head? I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, oh, it's like I'm in my own head and everything. I just don't be liking things. Really? <laughs> I just don't be liking it. Like, it's... I don't know. Like, I could do a song and I would love it for like two, three days and then I'll be over it. And I'll be like, oh, I need to do another song. I need to do a new sound. I need to, I need to explore something else. Like, I... I I don't know. I'm always changing my mind. And you found yourself doing that? Yeah. I really? do that a lot. Yeah. And then there's life, too. There's life, you know, there's kids, there's mm -hmm. marriage, there's relationships, there's family. And then we, de not demand, but it's this other one that we want that you feel like, damn, I got to give the audience that, too. Yes. And you thought about that. Yes. I mean, I mean, what, like, when it comes to music or, like, when it comes to life? Just music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, um... I do like to include like a lot of um I I like to include like personal things in my music but I don't want to include as much right. things in my music because I always want like music like the people like super enjoy like I will give you a little bit of right. of my personal feelings I don't even really like saying a lot of personal feelings And aside from just the personal feelings in the music mm -hmm. just more so like was it where you say damn now I got I got to do I got to do some music because you're taking care of your person. There's a real life. And then we have jobs. Yeah. And that's the thing where I'm saying with us, as far as like the public, we want yeah. the music. Right. So are you in your head like, oh, I got to put this out? You know, it's been and you, at no point did you think it would be six years. <sighs> why? Well, six years? you got to count out two years out. Right. And why? The babies, the kids, and the pandemic. Yeah, you gotta count that out. You, gotta, you just gotta count that out. You know what I'm saying? And then, and we're just talking about from the drop of invasion of privacy. Yeah. So even invasion of privacy, that still runs right now. Yeah. 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 No, I, I make a lot of money off my. Yeah, <laughs> as you should. I still make good. I make really good money off the album. Is is yeah. that a, is that right there too? Knowing that that you make good money and the music was good does that not that that's that does that slow you up but do do that keep you on the reserve tank a little bit more too like oh, uh, yeah. it's still going no 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 okay. no no cuz you know what i feel like i'm i'm like the type of person that is like people don't care what like you could have a diamond record you could have whatever mm -hmm. people don't care what you did the last year or the yeah, where you man. what you did 2 years ago like people don't care people just just care about the relevancy for like right now yeah. and everything so yeah. i'm just not the type to be like oh oh yeah i got like five number ones i got like three diamond records like oh my god like i'm good like it's like no i, I don't think that it's just a lot of i just a lot of like personal things that i just been dealing with just a lot of um personal just a lot of overthinking. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of the fact that, like, when it comes to music, I really just don't li like, I just don't like a lot of stuff. Right. I don't. And do you feel like you sometimes get in your own way? Probably. Yeah, I definitely get in my own way. Like, like sometimes I be feeling like my team be calling my personal people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they be like, yo, she's losing it. Like, she, like, do you hear these records? Like, it's like... She got these records are great. She just need to put them out. Like she just need to put them out. But I'm just like the, like f f I'm gonna give you like an example. Like I will like listen to like a hundred beats until I find some something that I is like I kind of like or like right. I really love. Is it harder now with the success as it, far as like listening to music and, be, and and knowing it? Do you compare Cardi B to Cardi B? No, no. Okay. Um, it's not harder now because of the success. It's harder now because now I'm like more mature and I'm and I'm I critique things more now. Like mm. I, I listen to everything. Like I listen to everything. I hear everything. Like even me. Like I do a song and I I will do one song like seven or eight times because I just feel like the you accent gotta be great, the yeah. flow gotta be great, yeah. the everything gotta be great. Like yeah. I will mix a song like <laughs> so many times. My engineer probably hates me. And you said and you said that to me before. <laughs> It's like, and, and the thing, it's crazy because the things that we feel like we love you for. Yeah. Like, I love your accent. I love the personality. You you find yourself in the studio trying to, like, over-pronounce, over-enunciate things because of that, your accent? Or just get Yeah, the, like, all right, like, like, when I when I talk, when I say, like, like there's a word that is like, you know, like, I say a lot when I rap, like, talking. But, like, when I rap and I'm rapping fast, I might say, like, talking. Right. And that's so, a problem for that's you? That's a problem for me. And there's other words that is like, I, I don't know, I sound very mira mira. Right. 
<laughs> She's a perfectionist. I remember, but it's crazy that you can critique yourself like that, but you also feel like you can critique yourself where it's probably like too much. Have you had your team? And even Offset at one point, I remember paraphrasing, he was like, let it go. Like, like drop it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah like, I, they stick me. So what's the difference <laughs> now with saying, okay, you know what? It's time. This is it. Because if it's not now, it's, it's going to be never. Like, right. it's like it's, if it's not now, it's going to be never. Like, even like, like, even like the freestyle that I dropped, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I've been had that song for a long time. I did it like <laughs> I did it like in January 2023, and I did the song. And when I, I remember when I did the song, I, I loved it. I loved it for a whole month and everything. Then I went to another song. Like I'm, I'm a cheater, so I, <laughs> I liked it another song. And um, like it was also the first time like listening to it in January because right. I got so many songs. And he was like, oh. It was him and 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 an A and R that I have, and they loved the record. And it was like, he was like, you should shoot this in your closet. You should you should shoot it in your closet. And I'm like, well, I, I'm in LA, like, right. <laughs> like the, I'm not in my house. And he's like, just shoot it in the house on some fly shit. And I'm like, well, uh, I don't have the the video like no produ videographers or anything. He's like, I'm gonna get it for you. Like, just 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 do it. Like, you just need to do things. Like, you, mm -hmm. you need to stop overthinking your videos. You need to stop overthinking everything. Like, just go and do it. And I just did it. And it's like. Mm -hmm. And and it's like I was like, but when am I gonna ever drop this freestyle? And it's like he's like, it don't matter. Just have things in the tuck. Have things in the mm -hmm. tuck. Just have it. And I'm like, all right, all right. And it's crazy because mm -hmm. I was thinking about how am I gonna come back? Cause you know I I I, I went like off offline for a minute and i was like damn i don't want to come back with just posting a picture and i really just don't want to put out a single just like that so i was like you know what i'm gonna just warm people up because they haven't seen me in a minute mm -hmm. and i got this freestyle there thank god i already got it in the tuck right. the video in the tuck <laughs> let me just put it out and then i just put my single right after and everything and and that works for you though and it worked out it worked out pretty pretty well it yeah. worked out pretty pretty well and so when you recorded last year like what you know what i'm saying freestyle you hold on to it and you, you you listen to it and it got old to you, which was never old to us. Yes. I yeah. oh no, I have a, I have a lot of songs. I, I all I do is record. And you're not even talking about I know you're gearing up towards an album, but there's no far as like a date with an album right now. That that's public. No, it's not public, but we have a date. Okay, what mm -hmm. is it? Because you always tell me stuff. I can't tell you, but mm, I could write tell it down and I'll say it. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, just check it. I can't tell you. I can't say it. But um, the next announcement that I make, well, like, well, just I'm not gonna put out the next thing I'm do. I'm not gonna put out a single. Well, right. If I do put out a single, it's gonna be with the album announcement. Okay. So you so you do have a large body of work. Yes. If let's just say that if there's I don't know twelve songs, fourteen songs on yeah. the album, how many do you record? What do you mean? Like. Overall, 30. if you pick 12 to 14 songs, how many songs are fully recorded? Are you a, I recorded 20, I recorded 50. I got like 100, probably, probably like 80, but I got like a lot of songs. I got a lot of songs that I just, some, some to me is just like a little bit just too outdated. Mm -hmm. Some to me, I'll probably just do like one verse to it. Some to me, I just got a hook that I really love, but they just like there, like they're like, I got you there. Hey, one of our Zoom calls, right, was mm -hmm. Zoom interviews. I feel like you lied to us. But how did you knew? <laughs> how about that? How about that Wait, question? How I, the fuck you knew? <laughs> how in the fuck do you know what I'm talking about? Because it's like, because cause how you know? Right. How you knew? What, 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 what do you think you lied to us about? What do you lie to me about? The Shakira stuff? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I couldn't tell you. I mean, it's not it's not, it's not. not a place for me to tell. It's her stuff. Right. Her yeah. Hey, dude, as soon as you said, we were like, yeah, the Shakira thing. As soon as you started like, nah, I was like, oh, my mm -hmm. God, dude. I, and, I couldn't say it's her. It's her record. Like, Man, I is this it here? She has a collab with Shakira. Now, we were literally doing a for real, for real. And Nathalia came up with the question. Oh, yeah. Nathalia was like, she has no, wait, a collab so you, with Shakira. So you, just, so you just came up with that question. I, she... I hey, stay dude. on. I stay online, and I follow you. Girl. Yeah, man. I follow yeah. You. yeah, she got. I know what she got like. the last four of your social security number. Just put it that way. <laughs> All right. I get, so you I, know what? What's up? I could believe it. Hey, man. I ask you this. <laughs> she has a collab with Shakira yes. that's coming soon. Uh, what? Ah, <laughs> she has a collab with Shakira that's coming soon. For real. For real. 
or for false. Who said that? I mean, I would love, I would love a collab with Shakira. I would love a collab with Shakira. Well, I didn't yeah. lie. I yeah. said I would love yeah, a collab like with Shakira. Shakira. Right. Want a collab? Like I, I can say, man, Listen, I would love. But to have I a didn't wife. lie. Right? I can say that. Yeah, see, I and said I would love to have a wife. I do have a wife. <laughs> Just the way you said, I would love to have a song with Shakira, and you did. You do have a song with Shakira. I do. I can just tell you straight up. I can tell I did, everybody did, right did, now. Did. Do not rob a bank with you because <laughs> your poker face. I we were all like, yeah, oh yeah, my poker song. face sucks. Yeah, we were like, oh yeah, she definitely. Like it's like I, I would laugh. Now, when it comes <laughs> when it comes to like just just collaborations and things like that, like you've been on a lot of great songs. You shared collaborations on your end. You jumped on with other people. Do how do you pick someone that you're work that you're working with? You know what I'm saying? Because and you've been all over like all over different genres and everything. Yeah. It just depends on like if I if I like the song. Cause listen, I'm picky with my songs. I'm mm -hmm. definitely picky with other people's songs. So uh, I might collab with big artists, small artists. I don't care as long as I like the song. Like for example, like Fendi the rapper, right? Like mm -hmm. it's like she's some girl from like Chicago and everything, and I just loved her song so much. I'm like, I just gotta hop on this. Like I love it. Like it's my it's my flow is my flow is my style. Like mm -hmm. I need to get on this record. So it's just I just really gotta like love the record. And why are you? And, and not that you're supposed to be, but why are you so comfortable with sharing your platform with other female artists as well? Because we don't see. A lot of that or somebody always trying to put, you know, like it's not enough room. But why do you make sure that you also like, nah, I, I got to get with my girls too. enough room for everybody. I mean, it's not like if, if I like you, I like you. Like if I like you, like I just, I just, I just like you. Like mm. it's not like it's like, oh my gosh. Right. I ain't making it should be just a female unity because it's, right. it's, 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 it's a lot Aww. of F you bitches. Like it's a lot of fuck y'all, a lot of bitches like that ass. But it's like, if I like you, like I... If I like you and I see something on in you, like, cause like, I I really want you to win. Like, mm -hmm. I really want you. Like, I want you to go there. Like, I like you a lot, and, and do, I like your music. I do like you. Do you also pick people like like? Okay, say for instance, like with the Shakira thing, I wouldn't say you you lied. I wouldn't call you a liar. <laughs> but then also with Glorilla, did you work with Glorilla because or, or do things with Glorilla because she's a liar as well? But I didn't lie. I didn't even lie. Well, 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 this is Glorilla right here. This is this is Glorilla. When I asked her about about that, this. she's related to Cardi B. This is real, for real. No, you're not. That's, that's my cousin. No, that's I'm my not. cousin. Black people cousin or cousin? Like, like you know what I'm saying? No, Cause, cause you my cousin. That's my cousin. So Glorilla <laughs> is your cousin. Yeah. Cause look how you looking around. Cause you know, like. Uh huh. You know. Yep. Like. A lot of people oh, yeah. don't know this. Like oh. my grand, like not nah, th this. Is some serious story. Like my grandfather, he used to like. I don't like to put my family business okay. like, but he used to push weight and everything. And there was like this one time that like, like you know, like he lived in Tennessee and whatever. So he ain't really told like my grandma that like he was dealing with somebody over there. And then like he had a he he had like a kid out there, and you know like. That's Glorilla's dad and everything, so that's why, like, Mika's related. Are you serious? Yeah. They look similar. That's my cousin. <laughs> yeah. All right, because, damn, I thought it was straight bullshit. How did you find out? That damn 23 and me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, I just felt like, like, I, f I just, like, asked her, like, you don't feel like, like, I feel like we just, like, too much alike or something. Like, you get my jokes and everything. She was like, yeah. I'm like, yo, there's something funny, like... There's something funny, like something really weird. So we just like, you know, we started like, yeah. Connecting the dots. Wow. That's cool. All right. Well, I lost $75 off of that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, let's get back to something that don't cost me any money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So touring and everything now, are you are you ready for, for that too? Oh, yeah, that I'm ready. Part? Yeah. I'm, re I'm, I'm very, very Did ready. Did you miss anything without being, you know how we say, oh, that's the marquee, you know, the the, the, the concerts and everything. Did you miss that or do you like kind of, did you, did you enjoy that time away from, because you ran a lot and yeah. you, you damn near had a baby on stage pretty much. Cause even yeah. during the pregnancy, you kept, you kept going, picking mm -hmm. up the bags. Did you enjoy kind of stepping away and not having rider contracts and tours and all that kind of stuff as much as heavy? Uh, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. And then when I got back, like, to, like, performing and everything, I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm I'm nervous again. Like, why am I having so much stage fright? Like, it's like to this day, like, why am I having so much stage fright? Like, I used to do this every single day. So, um, 
but I, but I'm ready. I'm I'm ready, but then again, I'm a little nervous because now I have like two kids, so it's like I don't know yeah. how would it feels like to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like just on the road, on the road, on the road. Like even like even like now. Like, I'm in L.A. for, like, a month, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to fly my kids out because my daughter's off to the 25th. And so gotcha. Cool. Spring break. Yeah, so it's like, you know, if I, I could fly, like, I was in Miami for a month, and I was flying my kids over there every weekend. But, like, on the road, it's going to be kind of, like, hard. Like, oh, yeah, keep coming with me every single day. And so I'm a little sad about that because I'm really close with my kids. Like, yeah, and, that, and that's the balance that some people understand, but a lot of us don't understand. Yeah. Like, I have two kids. And my wife is, you know, she's at the house. She got the harder job, to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I could come and do what I have to do, but I can go home every day. Yeah. Every day. Like, when you're on the road, it's like... Yeah. And then people just be thinking, like, oh, but you're rich. You could get, like, like school teachers and everything. And it's like, that's that's not real life. Like, my kids have real activities. Like, my son is in boxing. My daughter's in piano classes, dancing classes and everything. Like, oh, it's it's not more... It's more than just having a, a, a school teacher on the road. Right. Like, it's just... Oh, it's, and, and taking it's, them out of every venue yes, and buses. Out, yes, like, it's like... Like they're real kids. They are. They they real kids. They real. They, they do real kid stuff. Yeah. And but you know what? It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. There's a lot of you that you give to us publicly. You know, and especially with the device now. You know, everybody's on this. Everybody yeah. got an opinion. Everybody got a thought. How do you? Where do you find your privacy at? Um, I actually do have a lot of privacy. Yeah. Because I do give a lot, but there's a lot that people yeah. just don't know at all. And that's what you give by choice. Yeah, that's right. what I give by choice. Like, it's like, some people think they know me, but do you really know? Mm -hmm. Like, do you really know? Like, it's it's a it's a lot that be happening behind the scenes uh, of my life and everything. And it's just like, people just will never know. Like, I'll let you know what I want you to know. Or sometimes, you know, like, you know, when I have an outburst, you might know because I'm having an outburst. Right, yeah. Not because you just, somebody told you. Like, oh, somebody told me that this. Well, I don't know who told you about the Shakira. But... Right, right, right. Well, the Shakira <laughs> thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just what Natalia does. Though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I do be wondering, like, I, I'm not going to say I regret, but sometimes I do be wondering, like, it's like, damn, did I give people too much of right. me? Like, I, that's why I be feeling like, it's like, you know what? I gave y'all too much of me. And that's why I feel like sometimes people feel like they're too comfortable right. of, like, wanting things from me, suggesting things from me, or feel too comfortable of thinking that they know me, or feel, like, too comfortable to thinking, like, they, they could play with me, yeah. or feel like they're just too comfortable of, like, trying me. Like, it's like, I feel like people know that I'm, like, I'm like a very, I'm a person that I like to cut the hatchet right there. So sometimes I just feel like people like feel like I know if I could say something to Cardi or I know if, if I say this, this and that about Cardi or her man or her family or for this, I know I'm going to get a response from her. So I feel like I also got people got too comfortable mm -hmm. of my reactions. Yeah. And I feel like I shouldn't have given people a lot of me, like a lot of me. Right. Even sometimes I be wanting to help people. So me wanting to help people, me wanting to help people backfires on me yeah you know what i'm saying like like it's like i would tell you something i'm being honest about something and then like y'all will use it against me and it's like you see not now i ain't telling y'all nothing do you feel like everything even though it's it, everything is big do you feel like personally you're getting smaller like the people that you talk to the people that you could so-called trust do you feel like that circle is getting smaller Kind of, sort of. My circle always kind of been, okay. like, really small, though. Like, I always had, like, a small circle. Like, if something comes out of me, I could I could probably find out. I, I probably already know who said right. it. Because cause it's like my circle is that small. And like, everybody in my life is, like, divided in groups. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, these are my work people. These are my family and friends. These, and then I got different types of friends. You know what I'm saying? These are my day ones. Mm -hmm. These are my gossip gotcha. friends. These are my going out friends. <laughs> These are my gang, gang, gang friends. Right. Like, it's like I have, like, different type. Like, everybody's, like, in a group. In my mind. That's how my mind works. Right. <laughs> like, in my mind, I mean, my mind is, like... Yeah. <laughs> you got, like, like, little file cabinets in Yeah, there. I got file cabinets in my head. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is being an entertainer and being as known as you are, Cardi, is it a gift and a curse? It is a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the gift is I never have to make a line, honey. <laughs> right. Go ahead now. Hey, right. 
You say you didn't have to what? I don't gotta make no lines. Mm-hmm. Like I'm always like, cause like I go to a restaurant, like my food is served first. Like, <laughs> and, hey, man, you know your privilege. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. you gotta be aware. Yeah. That when people say, "Oh, there's no white privilege," I'm like, you don't understand what privilege is. Yeah. Like you understand. Oh, honey, your I privilege. take all advantage. Like I, I'm, t- I'm going to a family. I'm going through something <laughs> with my family, right? Mm-hmm. Like I have a family member that they're very sick. And I'd be like, to, I'd be telling them, like, FaceTime me right now. I want to talk to the doctors right now. Because it's like, like, once you show your face card, it's like, yeah, y'all going to take yeah. care. Y'all going to take care. Like, even one time, like, um, no, it was last year. My grandmother got sick, and we was taking turns in the hospital. And they had her, like, in this room with a curtain, sharing it with another old lady. That she, The old lady was just tripping. Like, but, you know, she's older. And as soon as I got in there, they gave my grandma a room by herself, upstairs. And it's yep. like, you see? Yeah, and you gotta. Loving me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know your privilege. Yeah. Can you walk into like a basketball game or a concert and know that you don't have to have a ticket? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> do you I do that? So rich. Oh my god. <laughs> but you'll do that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell and you yeah. know where that come from too, Cardi? That come from not having a lot. I think like with mine, like still, I'll go to a restaurant and if somebody say, "Oh, I got you." There's times where you, you, I got it, but if they say, "Oh, I got you," I'm like, oh, "All right, cool." You I know? mean, it really depends, though. Like, is that I like, I like one thing about me. I like to give tips. I, I don't, even, oh, yeah. I don't, want, I don't like when people feel like it's like, "Oh yeah, I give it to you." Like, cause no, 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 right, right, right. No, no, no. Here, here, here's your money. Like, here's some money. Like, cause like, all right. But you're services. not definitely not waiting in line at Olive Garden. Oh no, I'm, I'm not trying to wait in line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to wait in line. Right. I mean, do you go up to the front or you got somebody like my guy Jose? We got big over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or do you walk up? It depends, cause cause I'm a I'm very spontaneous. I'm very spontaneous. Like sometimes, like I could be in the house. I always have a driver outside, and it's like I don't got time to be waiting for security. Or I don't got time to be waiting for somebody. I need to eat right now, so I'm going out right now. So sometimes we just go. I be hoodied up. Mm-hmm. I be hoodied up. Can you disappear? Do you have one of them outfits where? You know how to disguise yourself. Hell in? yeah, all the time. Black hoodie. I don't care if we if the pandemic is over. I still wear a mask. I do not care. Gotcha. Hey, okay. and you say you have a driver outside. Mm-hmm. Have you gotten your driver's license yet? No, oh, I haven't had time. You, I have time. What do you mean you haven't had time? No, because I haven't. You're and nobody, Cardi B. You can nobody walk into the DMV. Help me. <laughs> no, but I don't. Shit. That's what another thing. I do not want to just walk to the DMV and just get like thing. Like it's like. I don't. I need to pass it, cause it's like okay, you could fake right. pass it, but it's like well, you can't fake pass it when you're on the road and you don't know shit. You Can don't know you the sign. drive, Cardi? I mean, I because we don't want you to fake pass. Like, we don't want you to get your license on a hookup. I know how to drive, like on when the streets are not busy, but I have never been like on a highway. But I don't. I'm scared. I think I'll be oh like, I. Right. You know what? I'll probably be like, all right, you start driving. <laughs> you drive when I'm uh, when I'm on my way to hit a bridge. <laughs> I never did that, but I have drove like around like you know the blocks. How many cars do you have, Cardi? Uh, a couple. I've kind of. I have a like a lot. I have even. I haven't seen half of my cars like this such a long time. Can I have? <laughs> well, I, I need to make a little bit of money from it. Yeah, I, I'll buy. I'll buy something off of you. You know, this is my thirty year money. anniversary for radio. Just, just give me one. Okay, all right. Well, we'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> it's crazy that you got the and you got beautiful cars. Yeah, but you know what? Even even like uh, like Kiari, like he he. I haven't seen him driving a long time. I feel like we just got. Yeah, and yeah. you have drivers in. Dude, is your main residence like in New York? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you really you really getting around? Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna um, you're not gonna drive. And why would you? Hey yeah, man, we, we're going into now another <laughs> political year, and I know at one point you you really held a lot of ground when it came mm-hmm. to politics. Will you be as vocal if 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 it's necessary this go around? No. Right. I don't like nobody. Right. But I I feel like I already I already feel like Donald Trump is gonna win. Right. Like, yeah, he's man. Win. Get ready, huh? And that's why I tell people too. If if you're not a Trump supporter, whatever it is, you just it, 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 even Biden, whoever's in there, you just got to do what you're gonna do anyway. Like I'm not worried. I'm not waiting for nobody to take care of me. Yeah. I'm not putting all my faith in 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 the government. I just know. I just know that I got Veronica, Jade, and Jaden. Yeah. Front line and all my family. I got to take care of. Yeah, but I mean, like you, you just see it. Like you, you see that. 
I feel like you could just see that he has like a, a strong chance of winning. Mm-hmm. I've even been keeping up because I already know, I already feel like he already gonna win. Mm-hmm. You got people that didn't support that didn't support him. They had such a bad um, past four years that it's just right. like, oh yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna vote for might Trump. as well or or or, or not vote at all. Yeah, or not vote at all. I'm not voting at all. Yeah, already though. I'm not voting at all. I heard that. Well, I'm gonna vote. You know, and you know why? Just because. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. So if somebody asked me, I'd be like, oh yeah, I did. I didn't vote. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I didn't vote. I'm not gonna vote. I heard that. Unless we have like a real, real bigger, stronger candidate. But I just feel like happen. I just it's not it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be this year. It's just gonna be like a two two mm-hmm. people type stuff. It's, it wasn't like the last time. Like the last time we had like a lot of choices and yeah. everybody was excited. This time it's like no. Yeah, I don't believe it anymore. You know, I, I I'll still pay attention to it, and I will still keep my you know I'll, I'll keep a focus on it, but. Well, whoever win, I still gotta, I still gotta survive. So. Yeah, like whoever win, just whoever wins, I have, I have this vision, but I know I wouldn't be able to make it come true. But I do have a vision that I would love to make it come true. What is it? See, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it, but I always do have a vision. Matter of fact, I am gonna tell you about my vision, right? Okay. I want to do the everybody eat act. Like, mm-hmm. everybody eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like... Everybody eat. Everybody all eat. Eating. Like, everybody eat. Because it's like... I don't understand why... Why... um, Not children, but, like, people that want to go to college. I don't understand why people that go to college have to suffer the most. Like, even when I went to college, right? Um, I, Even when I went to college, like... I did not have money like that to buy food at all. I ain't have money to buy food at all. And it's just like, you know, they will give you, like, a nice little check for financial aid. But the check for financial aid is just like, come on now. Like, it's like, you got to buy, like, five, six books that cost, right. like, $300. Then you got to buy your metro card, monthly metro card that is, like, $90. And it's just like, like, it's like, just how they give EBT cards mm-hmm. for the people in needs. I feel like it's like, why can't, why can't y'all just, like, give, like, those type of monthly cards for people that want education? Like, the only way that this country is going to survive is with uh, education, and mm-hmm. I just feel like you there should be monthly checks, food, EBT cards, and everything. Everybody for, eats. Everybody eats. Can we throw in there? Everybody gets some kind of medical card too. Yeah, you? too. But yeah. I, that's that's never. I feel like that's never gonna happen. Okay. Like, I, I used to campaign yeah. for that, campaign for that, well, but I feel like that's never gonna happen. Well, you know what? Everybody eats not gonna happen either. If you could shit no mind. <laughs> no, no, I no because you know what? Oh, I took it too personal. No, 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 no. Oh my bad, I took it personal. No, be- oh, okay. Sorry no, no, about because that. you know why I feel that way? Because like four years, five years ago, I was campaigning for that. Yeah. But it's it's bigger than just. It's bigger it's than just, me- like, saying that. Industry. It's just, like, it's, it's billion-dollar companies yeah. type of things that yeah. they're never just going... They're just not going to allow it to make right, it happen. Right, right. It's yeah. too so much. So it's just, like, it's, yeah. it's beyond political stuff. It's beyond. Like, it's, like, it's the it's more about the people that really run yeah, the man. world. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, and, and they say that the, the problem is in the... Not in the cure. Like, the cure, they're like, man, we can't cure that stuff. The, yeah. It's in, it's in keeping you it's sick. In the, it's in the keeping you sick. And yeah. you know what? This country... do. You see, you took me to another black hole. <laughs> I really feel like that this country keeps you sick on purpose. Mm-hmm. They, they have to. Like, I just went to Colombia, and I, like, it's like, this is crazy, right? Like, I went to Colombia, and I and I ate, like, you know, the KFC, the McDonald's and everything. And it was so fresh. Different, huh? It was so fresh. It felt like, it felt like they just cut the chicken in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, it's like, it was so good that when I came back to America, like, I craved it. I craved it. It was terrible. It tastes like plastic. And then it, it made me, you know, take a big shit. Like, it's like, oh, I forgot why I haven't <laughs> ate. I forgot why I haven't ate KFC in a long time. Like, it makes me shit. But it didn't make me shit in fucking right. Colombia. Hey, man, you know what's crazy about so, that? When you eat something so fresh, yeah. sometimes you think something's wrong with it. When you go to other countries, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. it don't taste the same. Like, yeah, yeah because... but it was fresh. It was delicious. And then when I came back here and I ate the same thing, it, 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 it got me sick. And it's just like, yo, this country... In every shape or form, is is keeping us sick. Mm-hmm. It's keeping us sick, and it's like that's that billion dollar shit. Hey, <laughs> Cardi, how is it having all eyes on you and no everyone know who you are? Like, say for instance, like, can you just and you've been talking about you know taking a shit? I know it sounds crazy, but can you just go into a a restroom at a restaurant and blow it up? Sometimes that could be a little bit embarrassing. Yeah. So it's like I try to like I try to avoid that. Like, right, right. I try to avoid that. Right. But 
<laughs> if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. <laughs> I, don't yeah. because, I just don't want nobody to know. Yeah, because I'm just when like everybody, because all eyes are on celebrities. Yeah. All eyes are on you, and now with this, the cam, everything, everything, and everybody, it's just this goofy shit that goes on. Yeah. Now. Everybody's on gotcha. Are, are you and I don't know how worried you are about cancel cultures and things like that. Do you find yourself like having really put your mental editor on even more so because yeah, how sensitive things are now? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's why I, I just disappeared for a, a long time because I, I feel like fame stripped me from myself and now I'm like being back to myself. Like, you know, like there's a lot of like music. Music uh, critics that just be like, Cardi is scared to drop an album. She's scared to drop music. And it's like, no, I'm scared to do everything. I'm scared to do, do, I'm scared to talk about politics. I'm scared to talk about my life. I'm scared to talk about anything because it's like, I do not, I'm scared to even post a picture right. because I'm just so tired of people just criticizing and saying something. Like, even like when I post a picture, like, I'm going to give you an example, right? Like, I just told something, somebody yesterday, right? Um... I disappeared for like a month on the internet, right? And then I got caught going on a date to a restaurant and I was covering my face. Mm. I was covering my face because I wasn't making out in the car and I was doing nasty stuff. And then I have <laughs> red lipstick everywhere. So I was covering my face. You know, the next day people were saying like, it's like, yeah, she got, a, she got another nose job. She got another nose job. And it's like, this is why I'm just like afraid to even, even post a picture or to even give mm. you anything because it's just like, Y'all just make Don't people afraid to do up. anything. And then when you give something, they want more. Mm -hmm. Or they take it and run with it. Then when you don't give, they make it up. Yeah, they make it up. Like I said, oh yeah, they made a crazy story up about me. Um, they made a crazy, crazy story up about me. Like um, the other day when I went out. And it's like, this is why I don't even want to go out. It's like, mm -hmm. like, it's like, y'all just be making things up. And it's like, I'm like, should I address it? And it's like, no. You want to know why? Because... Whether I've just it or not, it's going to become another story. It's not going to stop right there. It's going to become another story. Or it's going to become another liar. Or it's going to become another this. And it's like, no, you know what? Live with it. I don't care anymore. How hard is it being a famous couple? It's hard. Yeah. Because being a couple anyway mm -hmm. is hard. Yeah. Yeah, especially me because I'm very sporadic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm very sporadic. So it's just like, Yeah. Hold on, what am I hearing? I'm like, hey, that was me. No, that's me. Oh, oh, okay. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I'm very sporadic and everything. So it's 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 a little bit like hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but and, and when you say sporadic, explain. Like it's like, all right, like it's like sometimes when I feel like, oh, you wanna play with me? Watch what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, uh, and then you take it, you you probably take something public or as opposed to no one cares about, like, Jose and his wife at the moment. Like, they can have a situation. Why you always playing with him? Even, okay. in, even uh, in the elevator. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no one, uh, oh, be, because this is my partner of years, but no one is worried about okay. he and Jennifer's relationship. Yeah. But you, and, and that is true because I, I feel like people especially do, do be caring about me and, uh, right. and Offset a lot because sometimes I will see a couple going through the same thing exactly. that we're going through and people don't even try to investigate. But when it is me and him, oh. they go up and down, reaching up and down, going side and side, like whatever. But it's like, it is what it is like. What do you feel when people say it comes with the business? What that mean? Like, <laughs> like, oh, you're famous. It comes with, it comes with being famous. No. And uh, yeah, okay. No, it doesn't. And, 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 and it doesn't. Like, cause I'm, I'm, I'm a regular person. Like, I cry regular tears. I probably cry more than than than, than a regular. I probably cry more than a regular person. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, cause I'm just a regular person. People just be like, oh, but you're famous. It's okay for you to have mental mental trauma. Right. It's okay for your feelings to be hurt. It's okay for you to be stripped down. It's okay. Like, it's like it's like if you have if you have a, if you have somebody right. If you have a friend right. And it's like, are you putting down your friend every single day for everything that they do? Like, right. do you do that to your coworkers? So it's like, imagine me getting online and y'all stripping me down for everything, for my talent, for the way I look, for the way I talk, for the way I breathe, for the way... The, the only yeah. thing that people can't say about me is my is my motherhood because y'all can't even see my motherhood. But it's like, I could only imagine if I'd be like, yeah, I did macaroni and cheese from the box. Ah! Yeah, like, yeah, like, from the like, box. So it's just like... That's not that's not an easy thing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's just not an easy thing. And 
I feel like I have lost myself and I'm regaining myself, but I but I feel like I haven't lost myself in a way that other people have. Like, mm-hmm. this is why I, some artists, they start developing, like, mental issues and, 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 and start doing drugs and everything. And some people just be like, oh, but I would never do drugs. And it's like, shit, I don't blame these motherfuckers. Right. This is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> And that's so, what people say. Oh, you signed up for it. And it's like, no, you don't sign up for that. I didn't sign and up for this think pain. people the, the skin is supposed to be thicker. I remember years ago when I knew that the, the internet and social media was crazy was it was a picture of an artist. And the artist had, it was a picture of the artist and the son. The son is beautiful. Yeah. They tore this artist's son apart. The, 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 um, the, the, the. What's the stroller the, the baby was in? Yeah. Every, everything was a problem. And that day, that really turned me off from social media. Like, I've never been on Facebook. Everything. Like, and, and, and you know what I don't be liking? Like, when somebody get, like, killed in a very, like, crazy way, and then people be like, oh, well, they shouldn't have been doing that. Like, oh, well, well, they shouldn't. And it's like, what yeah. do you mean, oh, well? Like, they're yeah, dead. Like, like, y'all have lost every type of compassion. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. people have lost every type of compassion. Like, it's just like, damn, is this really the world that we have lived in? And I don't yeah. know, like, this generation to me is a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> what have you learned from sharing either a lot, so much, or too much? It could it could sometimes backfire on you. I like I feel like I just like yeah it could it could backfire on you totally. Like it's like it's and totally you've had that many many times, right. many many times, mm-hmm. many times. Yeah, do does it make you go into social media or anything now a little different? Because you still anyone that's in here, you have emotions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight, let alone next week. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you do have, but the, but does it make you hesitate a little bit more? Because I know you're also a protector. Yeah. You know, and we've had a conversation about how, you know, people can come at you, but don't come at my sister. It's different. Yeah. When you come at my sister, there's a protection. Yeah. Do you find yourself being that protector, too, when it comes to your relationship? I'm a, I'm a protector in, in everybody. And that's why I feel like people like to poke um, uh, like the people that I love the most, like the other, like just yesterday, they was poking at my friend, at my best friend, and I really wanted to get on live and like just violate because it's like y'all don't even know, like what are y'all talking about? Or like sometimes people just automatically, if they if they want to hurt my feelings, they it's like they're gonna like try to pick on, uh, trying to pick on Offset and everything, and it's like. I feel like when they can't get to me, they try to get like to 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 my friends or like you know my partner and everything. Uh, they they used to do that a lot with my kid and stuff. Like to the point that it's like that was driving me crazy. Like that was driving me crazy. Like I just had like thoughts of like stabbing repeatedly yeah, people because mm-hmm. it's like don't play with my fucking kid. Hey dude, and that's the way I am. Like I've, I'm real gun shy about putting my kids up. Yeah. I don't post my wife. My wife know. I, my <laughs> wife know it's her birthday, and I love you. And I'm coming home, and I'm doing this, and this is what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't post yeah. like my sisters because it's a different thing if you say something about my family yeah. or someone that mm-hmm. I love. And plus, if you if you just internet banging, like if you're yeah. just somewhere, and I would love for you to come to me right. and say something to me in my face. And I guarantee you nine times out of nine and a half, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Like, yeah. You, you definitely wouldn't. And it's so hard. Yeah. Have you met anyone live that you knew was talking shit? And you're like, ah. <laughs> um, not like a, a, a troll. Okay. I haven't really met a troll. I have met art, like artists that like, it's like, yo, wh- what you mean by that? What you mm-hmm. mean by that? I have definitely like. Yeah. Your walk up game is a mess, huh? You will walk up, huh? I walk and call. Because it's like, I, sometimes, because it's like, I don't really be having time to see. Right. I, like, I don't really have time, like, to, like, uh, like oh, see people. Address it all. Address it all, like, at that time and everything. Like, it's like, and I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to, like, oh, everybody just think, like, oh, I'm going to go to an event. I'm going to be, like, a mess. Like, it's like, if I feel... I feel that you said something or you did something. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna find your number that day and I'm gonna call you and I'm gonna ask you like, what's the problem? And you've done that all the time, right? And mm-hmm. did you put up something on social media and I'll, and I'll read this. There's a video that you put up where you say, "I want to apologize to my fans, mm-hmm. to my fans, to myself, and to the people that love me for losing myself, just losing myself and not being myself because of negative things that put me in a wall." Yeah, yeah, because you know, um. 
I was seeing fan, my fans complain for a very long time, and it got to the point that it's like, you see, this is why I gave, I gave you, I, I gave you too much. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, then again, it's like I can't be mad at my fans because that's what I got y'all used to. Right. So it's like right. I can't even be mad at that because I got y'all used to that. And then like I just feel like my fans just keep saying like, you see, this is why I can't mess with her. She don't put no music out. She don't do this. She don't do no content. She don't do that. And it's just like, I feel like there was an understanding that it's like. It's not even about music. It's not even about content. Like, I'm literally going through something mentally. Like, I'm literally scared. Like, you know when you put your mm -hmm. your foot in the pool and it's like when you jump and it's like the water's cold, you just want to get out? Like, that's just me. I want to get out. I want to get out of the pool. Or not jump in at all. Or not jump in at all. But it's like, I got to let that fear go. Do you have anxiety? Yeah. I feel like I got I haven't got diagnosed, but right. I definitely feel like I got anxiety. But it's like, anxiety ain't got you here, baby girl. Like, right. get over that. Like, how how am I giving my friends advice and I can take my own advice? <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what you need to do. You This is what you need to do and you're not doing it. But, you know, sometimes when you give someone advice or something, you're talking to yourself, too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you're Ooh, talking to yourself. Good. Yeah, yeah and, and sometimes when I tell somebody something, like, and it's been many times where I'm like, man, and I tell the person, I'm talking to me. I'm yeah. talking to me too yeah. because I'm a like I'm a procrastinator. I got I got so many of these things called patterns. Yeah. But and, and I'll sit up and I'll say, man, okay, I could, I, man, oh boy, as a coach, I can get the team together. Yeah. As a player, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know about this one. You know what I'm saying? But again, yeah, and I do get in my own way. Yeah. And that's why, and it's crazy because even the conversation that I'm having with you, it's like I'm asking you because I'm like, okay, yep. I'm in the I'm in the same place. I'm yeah. in the same place, and it's crazy because, and, and with 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 your success or anyone, it's not like there's a a light switch. Like, oh, I'm gonna turn it on full blast today. And then I'm gonna turn, I want to turn it off. I want to turn it off, mm -hmm. and and you can't. No. You know what I'm saying? And and it's crazy because you want something in your life, and you got it, and you get more, and you're living it, but it's like shit. I, you know, the, sometimes the price you pay too. Yeah. You know, and sometimes people, you know, not, not to sound crazy, but sometimes people pay with their lives yeah. or pay with their health. You know yep. what I'm saying? So, and, it, and it's crazy. That's why I say, man, people love you and stay strong, but yeah, back away too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back away because this shit, they, they eat you alive, man, and you'll become alive. a hashtag. Yeah. Yeah, you become a yeah. hashtag. Do you still have fun though? Do you do you go out like. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely have fun. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not a person. Is it fun that being Cardi B? Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Right. Do yeah. you know people look at you? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, but I, I mean, I do have fun. Like, I do have a good balance. Mm -hmm. Like, I do have a good balance. I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of family. So it's like, I do have a very strong support system. Like, I'm just not like an alone person. Right, and, right. And I could say that like the people that work with me, they just don't work with me for my money. Like, it's like, I know that the people that work with me, like, like, love my family, love me down. Uh, my friends love me down. Like, when I be having like a... a like a mental breakdown, like my friends be like, I, I, I'm gonna go over there right now. Or my family gonna go over there like right, right now. So I'm never alone. That's a good thing. I'm never alone. Do you know that like when you put on an outfit, do you know, oh, this is gonna kill them? Oh, yeah, all the time, huh? No, go ahead now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I never get that. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> Like, I, even when I put on this this shit that I'm wearing today, I was like, oh, this ain't going to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you have on an outfit, like, there was something where he got that all I think it was man. you in, all was it in man. workout gear? Or if you do, like, a red carpet or something. What do you do with those outfits that's almost look like they're one and done that you can't repeat because it went viral? Um... You know, I keep them in the archive. I need, I need to start, start selling a, a whole bunch of things because I, I feel like I have, I feel like I have a lot. I have two warehouses. Like, why do I have two warehouses? I have one out here. I have one in New York. Like, why? Of oh, stuff that you don't even wear anymore, or just mm, packed in there. Just you packed know, in there. I don't wear no more. I Chris Brown about had an estate sale. He sold all his stuff at yeah. his house. We, mm -hmm. Don't invite nobody to your house because it was crazy. <laughs> but why you don't just go and open it up and just have people walk through and sell it? I just haven't had the time. Give me the keys. I'll do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll do it for 25% on top of it. I, I just haven't no had the anyway. time. I, I haven't had the time. Right. Do you have time to do regular things like cook? Of course no. you don't have time to get a license. No, no, no. I, I hate cooking. Really? I, I know how to Are cook. Are you a foodie? I'm a foodie. Okay. But I just don't like to cook. Because I, 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 I... You know what? I think I got ADHD. I'm not diagnosed, but I think. Right, right, right. Because that's right, the right. only thing. That's the only thing that got me. Like, I just don't, like, I don't have the patience to do it. Mm -mm. I don't have the patience to do it. 
That's a really bad thing, huh? And no, nah. because now <laughs> you, you got somebody that can. Yeah, yeah. There, there's sure, certain sure. things that we did, did out of just necessity because we had to. And now you're in the half, now you're in the half to, now you're in the want to. Yeah. You know, do yeah. I want to? Mm, don't no, want to. but yeah. but it do when you cook something though, oh, yeah. cook and everybody's every like, "Damn, that was good." It, it does feel good, but it's like, "Oh, you know, you enjoy it." Yeah, I cook, <laughs> I, I, I cook every day. Yeah, like oh, I love cooking. I love cooking. I'm the cook in the house. I love it. You see, but that's the thing. I don't love to oh, do okay. it. Okay. When I love to do something, I could do it. I do not love doing. I do not love cooking. I Is do not. there anything that you spent money on that you could look back and say, "Why in the fuck did I buy that?" <sighs> A lot of my, like, a lot of jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's like, why the, why did I buy this? Like, I'm not, I don't even wear this. And I lost it. Mm. Uh -oh. I lost it. I, How I, did you lose your jewelry? Or some of it? I don't know. I just. Damn. I don't know. I just be leaving stuff. <laughs> I'm very, like, I'm unorganized. Right. Have you ever left anything in a hotel? Or do you do yes. assistants got to go back and grab stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I. Like, it was it was a point, like, I bought a watch for two years because I lost two paddocks in one year. How much those things cost? A lot. A no, lot. tell me, because I don't know. Like, a hundred fifty type stuff. Like, that was, like, around 2018, 19. I bought watches for two years because of that. Like, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to buy a watch again. Never going to buy a watch, but I did. But, right. like, <laughs> right. but at that time, you meant it. But I meant it, and I didn't buy watches for a long time. Like, I just didn't. Do you know where you lost them at? Or in the hotel? They in a hotel. Damn. Because it's like, those are the times that like, it's like right, traveling every up. single day. Hurry up. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to talk about it. I get, I get do you fly private or you still feel like commercial? On some I, I, I do both. Okay. I really, really do How do you both. feel about these plane doors flying off and wheels coming off and everything? <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to think, don't even think about that. But, that, <laughs> but you know what? I, that's why I feel safer, like flying with more people. Because it's like... <laughs> right, we all like, going. It's like, it's like, it's like Numbers? We, we all going. Yeah. Like, like, it's like, I know. Uh, I know they could care less. <laughs> I know they could care less if it's only eight people, but if it's 150 me, people, they're going they hey, to be more careful. Let me tell you what's <laughs> fucked up about that at the same time, too, though. <laughs> what's messed up about ah! that? Say, for instance, all of us got on a, on a plane or a yeah. train, whatever it is. Let, let's say all of us. Mm -hmm. Everybody in this room, everybody on this floor, right? Mm -hmm. And something happened to us. Worst case scenario, we all pass. You know what the news will say? Cardi B passed. Ah! Sorry, sorry. Yeah. It'll be messed up. You know, that's why, dude, I want my, you know, and not, not sounding crazy or, oh, it's coming. I want my own day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you what, what I mean by I want my own day. All right? Do you know that Farrah Fawcett, do you know who Farrah Fawcett is? Yeah, She's yeah. Charlie's Angels. Do you know that Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson died the same day? Wow. Yeah. I didn't. Google that. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yep. So Farrah Fawcett died, and I in the morning didn't. it was like, Charlie's Angel Superstar, Farrah Fawcett and dies. And huge. And three hours later, it was like, Farrah Fawcett, well, get this shit out of here. Michael Jackson just died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I want, like, you know what I'm saying? Have, have you ever watched that movie that she played, um, that mother that killed her kids? Yes. Like, she's an incredible actress, and it's like, they're Michael Jackson. Yeah, if, if it had been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, when, when, when we first, um... I remember it was, we did the, it was like the baby shower that we did, did our own for, for a little culture, right? Yeah. And we got a little culture, a gift and everything. Do you still have that matter, daddy? No. <laughs> it's somewhere in the story. Oh, okay. You do? I have a lot of things. I have a lot, lot of, I... But like the matter, daddy, not the one that we gave you, because I remember you were saying you had a matter, daddy. Yeah. Listen, my mom. She probably has it somewhere because my mom, she's like, she, she, I won't say she's a hoarder, but she just always. But this like, was for you. Yeah. No, but my mom. you took a picture with one, right? Yeah, but my mom runs everything. The ho Not the horse, but the other one that's the matter daddy. Damn, nigga. Can I ask you something? Yeah. What the hell's a matter daddy? Nothing's wrong. Nothing, I'm, nothing's a matter. <laughs> I'm doing all right. You know what I'm saying? What's the matter daddy? <laughs> No, I'm doing cool. I just love having this conversation with you, but nothing's a matter. You know what I'm saying? And offset Paul, he's going to get mad. You know, he's going to be in just calling me matter dad, just calling me daddy. What the hell is a matter daddy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The no, yeah. nothing's, yeah. nothing's a matter. I ain't going to lie. Like, right. I'm like, I don't know what the hell is that. Right, right, right. I'm like, is that like a bassinet? Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, man, we see now that Beyonce got a country album out. Uh -huh. How do you feel about just different genres like that as well? Because you, you've tapped into everything, you know, English, Spanish, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, like, how do you feel about when people broaden their horizons and spread their wings like that? I love that because, like, me, personally, I love funk music. Like, I love funk music, and I love, um, you know, I, I love a lot of Spanish music. So it's just like... I mean, even when I tap in with bongos, it was like a, it, yes. it pissed me off because bongos is like it's like funk, and I wanted to let people know funk is not uh, Spanish; it's it's, Bra it's Brazilian music, and I love that record, like, cause I love funk music, and people was like, "What is this? What is this? What the, what does bong 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 means?" And it's like I was so, I was like, "But I love it," but Damn. I do love to tap in like different music, like I love that more than everything, and it's just like if you could do so, it's like. Mm. Good for you, because God damn, like, I feel like I'm not in that level yet. <laughs> hey, man, when you and uh, Megan dropped WAP, yeah. that killed the world. Yeah. People were saying WAP that had no idea what WAP was. Right. Did y'all know that going in, like, oh, we about to kill them with this? No, I didn't thought it was going to be, like, like oh that Lord. big. I didn't even know that, that WAP was going to be, like, a big, like, a... Who it's actually came a word with now. That? Yeah. Who came with the acronym WAP? And who came with the title? Like, who came with that? It's like, because the song is just like, wop, wop, wop. It's like the uh, the word that was, like, being said the most. So I was like, just call it. I'm just like, I'm just calling it, like, call it wop. Like, Damn, I wop. Like Sometimes I'll be on in the I love when people found out what it was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, people... It makes sense. Like, but it's pussy. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it would. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To anybody that know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because I'd be struggling with, like, finding... I be like finding names to songs, <laughs> but like WAP was like low hanging fruit. Yeah. <laughs> so now, when when we fast forward or when we in in present time today, it's like you and people. It's so easy when people say, "Oh, she in her bag, she in her bag." But do you feel like, "Oh yeah, I'm in." Oh this no, I'm in my bag, honey. I'm in my bag. I'm so deep in my bag. Like a grandma with a peppermint. With her. Yeah, I'm a green peppermint. I'm deep in there. You got to search me because there's a lot of red peppermints, but I'm the green peppermint one. Yeah. <laughs> that's how deep I am. You got to... Because that's how I'm deep in it. Hell yeah. And, and, and with the new single, Enough Slash Miami, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, what what is that to you? Uh, it's a record that I, that I like, mm -hmm. but I feel differently about the record now. Because when I did the record, I was very angry. Mm. But now, like, I'm not as angry anymore. Like, I'm not as angry anymore. So I feel it now like it's a fun record, not right. like an angry record. Right. I was angry when I did it. But going in, you it, it was like, okay, it was therapeutic because you felt something. And you're like, this is that record for the time I feel right now. I don't like saying therapeutic because right. sometimes okay. when I do music, when I have a certain feeling... It doesn't feel like it's like, oh, I feel so much better that I right. that I wrote this song about how I feel. <laughs> right. I, re I feel like it's like, damn, I really want to kill somebody. Mm. This song makes me want to kill somebody. Even more, huh? Y'all got to die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. She was like, yeah, I, I wrote the record and I'm even more fucking pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more mad. <laughs> like, yeah, like, shit, like, even just in the booth, I'm, 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 I'm angry. Please, what do you love most about it? Um, about enough slash Miami. Every time I try to move. What I love every about it is just move. like the things that I'm saying on it. Like it's like that's how I it's it's like kind of funny. You know, I like I like doing like like comedic now? bars <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's like I have it in there. I like the energy. I like that it's club energy. I love making club music because I came from right. that scene. Like I that's my scene. Like club music, period. Mm -hmm. And it's like I I go to the club a lot, so I want to hear that when I go out. So I remember you saying at one point, and it was like, like we're not making anything for the clubs right now. Yeah, you know, and and it felt like like we weren't. A at one point, it just got we. And got I got attacked, and then people started saying that. I, that uh -huh. then people started oh, yeah. saying it, and it's like you see why y'all y'all always gotta attack me when I say something. Yeah, and then they come back there and say you're right, but it's not you that's right. It's not me that's right. <laughs> right. It's not me that's right, but I was right. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you feel like sometimes, man, instead of saying like we need something for the club, did you feel like okay, I'll make something, and we need a, and we need more summer anthems as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, is enough slash Miami? Is is that what you feel like? Okay, yeah. This, this is a summer one. 
to. I mean, I mean, it really depends on how the people feel and take it. Cause I really thought that Bongos ha- was gonna have people shaking their ass, and people was like, "What is this? This is so different. This so, what is this? Is this Mexican? It's like it's not even Spanish. It's right. funk. It's funk." And, and you, so you had a, a a different, you had an expectation, and it wasn't what you thought. But even though Bongos went though, it did went. Yeah, <laughs> it, did, it did went, but um. It was just a little. It was just a little bit too different for people. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I, that's why I will never. I will never regret it though. Like I don't care right. how people take it or not because it's like this is what I like to do. Like this is what I like. This is what I like. I like. I like it. When I heard bongos the beat, I love that beat. So it's like it's what I like. And I was like, I cannot stop thinking about what people like or not. Like it's like I didn't. I didn't went in the first time to a studio right. thinking about you, 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 her, her, her. I th- I thought about what I was doing that that day. That day I was gonna go to a strip club. I was gonna strip, and I say I need all my money makers bring that cash out. I need all my, like, <laughs> like that's what I said. And it's like that's what I like. And I'm gonna do and talk what I like. I'm gonna pick the beats that I like. I wanna say what I wanna say. And and it's like if you don't like it, you don't like it. Like you, you're there now. I'm right? there now. And you were there before invasion of privacy and before Bodak Yellow, before the blow up. Mm-hmm. At any point did you find yourself not even dropping the music, but even in your head, oh, I need a I need a radio hit. I need a this hit. I need a that. Did did you find yourself trying to super serve all those things too? It wasn't really much of like a, a radio hit or anything because I you know what's so crazy? I almost felt bad for winning too much. Mm. Yeah, and and it's like that that is so ridiculous. And it's like because people try to make me feel bad that I was winning too much. And it's like I'm like, all right, so let me do these type of songs. And then it's like when I started doing these type of songs, they started running with my formula. Right. And it's like you know what? I cannot <laughs> let people like 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 I cannot let people get in my head because it's like that that's what they want me to do. Like yeah, they want me to stop doing certain things. I tell people never apologize for this. For your success, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too blessed, like, no, right, yeah, yeah, and especially if you, if you put that, if you put that work in as well, yeah, and no, and and we look at the glitz and the glamour, yeah, nobody look at the flights, the tiredness, the this, the balance, nope. the, you know, no one, nope. no one looks at that, yeah, because it's like, yeah, I make it look easy, but it's like, it's, it's not, yeah, man, I remember, it's really, really not. I was somewhere, and I don't know where you're, but you were pregnant. And I remember, dude, you was up there performing, and I was like, dude, my feet hurt. <laughs> I was like, dude, my back hurt, and I'm in the audience. Like, yeah. you you, you give a lot to this game. Yeah, and you know what? You know what? I, I uh, When I just put out this freestyle and everything, a lot of people said that, like, it's like, oh, but, you know, Cardi stopped doing music and everything, and I feel it's because she was never really passionate about this. She, she never cared about this, and it's like, you're really actually wrong. Actually, the reason why I haven't put on music is not because I ever stopped. It's because I'm too passionate, too passionate that I overthink too much. I'm overthinking my accent. I'm overthinking if this beat is 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 a very different beat that nobody ever heard. I'm I'm overthinking the things that I'm saying. So it's like I'm extremely passionate, and that is the issue. And nobody's seeing me. Nobody's seeing me because I'm not every single day on, on live. Like it's like yeah, I'm in the studio, but I'm in the studio every mm-hmm. single goddamn day. Like every single day i'm in the studio like it's like and people like yeah she was never passionate about it it's like what are you talking about i went to a school for music like i went to a school for music this always been my dream and if you don't think i'm passionate because i haven't put out music no i'm passionate because i became too passionate that i got in my head Mm. i got in my head about everything even the thing that i'm passionate about i'm i'm passionate about political issues like i'm i'm passionate about all of that but it's like i got too much in my head y'all ate me up too much Mm. i i just i just i just want to like I just want to go to a little cottage right, in the forest. Right, right. <laughs> I just want to be in a cottage with my kids. Yeah. Like, far, far away from Do that. Do you still feel like that sometimes? Mm-hmm. Like Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, who's going to cook? Right. <laughs> 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 hey, man, that's like when I was five years old, I ran away. As soon as I yeah. hit the ground, I was like, where am I going? Yeah, where am I going? I'm already hungry. Like, <laughs> what, am I, what am I going to do here? But yeah, the, and, and that's the reality of it, man. And it's not about complaining or, oh, you know, because people think they wish they had it. Yeah. And sometimes you don't, or you got to yeah. take it all, you know. And I and I tell people as well, man. And I'm not nowhere as successful as as anyone that 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 come and sit in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I tell people like, if you want certain things, you can't have certain things, bro. This yeah. isn't a buffet. Yeah. That you can just say, oh, I will take this. I, yep. You got to take everything. You got to take my deceased mother. You got to take my deceased brother. You got to take every problem. L with this. The, everything that I have. 
you got to take that. Yeah. You got to take my sister's stroke. You got you got to be in a character. You got to take everything. Everything. Not just my VIP pass. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, man. Everything. And that's that's how it is with my friends. Like it's like like that's why I, I know that I have like good friends because it's like y'all can they don't just take VIP and like uh like you know the resources that I I could get them. It's like y'all got to y'all got to get that mental breakdown. Y'all got to get the mm. Right. Y'all gotta get that. So that's why I love the people that I'm around with because they, they, they get that. You did mention a few times that you did feel like you lost yourself, but you are gaining yourself back. Was there something that you changed in your life or something that you did to really get back there? Um, I, I got off social media mm -hmm. and I just started to realize that it's like, yo, even when I'm off social media, people's talking about me. Right. So it's like, whether I'm here or not, they're going to talk about me. So it's like, wh what pill you want to take? Yeah. Right, right. And also, what is the best part for you about being a mom? The best part for me is is everything. Everything. I love everything. Well, I don't like when my daughter be crying. My, cry, my daughter cry too much. <laughs> but everything, everything about it, like, just like everything. My kids are so worth everything. They're so funny. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I make really cute kids. <laughs> you do make very cute kids. Yeah, they're I adorable. I need to some more. It's a pleasure to see you. Yeah, you already know I gotta leave the block. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> man, no, but you always have. And anytime when we're outside the neighborhood as well, Every time I see you, you're always A1. And that's been since our day one. Since I first met you, you've always been the same person with me. And I appreciate it. And I'm so glad to not look over here and look at you in this little screen. And <laughs> I can I can see you in person. And I, I can't artists, wait to see you win. Our artists coming back. They're like, coming back. They are coming yeah. back, man. Yeah, we got a yay and tie dollar sign tomorrow. That should be very Ooh, interesting. I want to see that myself. I want to see it myself. <laughs> yeah, man. So it should be very interesting. You know I'm what I'm saying? Back, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Like I said, I... I love yeah. my, uh, what is it? The daddy's. The yeah. Daddy's daddy. yeah, I love my matter daddy. daddy. Yeah. I love my matter daddy here. All right, Linky Squad, thanks for watching. If y'all got this far, I'm trying to do my best with this content. I love watching this interview, though, with um, Cardi B. It was very good. You got to end death personal and personal uh in depth and personal you know relationship into her life and like what's going on where has she been really her passion about music and her life and just yeah it was really cool i liked it so y'all support her and support this channel too linky reacts like comment and subscribe and let me know what y'all into later y'all